So at this point, what we're going to do is go down to the members area. Okay. Remember uh, the last time we installed Metrotrader 4. So now what we're going to do is install the Arbitro Expert Advisor. So I'm just going to click on the Arbitro. This is now on the instruction page. Okay. So at the moment, again, Arbitro is not enabled. But uh, once the markets close, you'll be able to uh, click on this link and it'll work. So let me show you how that uh, actually works. Okay, so I've just enabled the download on our admin area. I'm going to come back out to the instructions, click on it again. Click on step 3 and click on Arbitro and I'll be able to download this. Okay, so it's asked me to save the Arbitro v2.zip file. I'm going to click on OK. And the download is completed. And that's our file. Okay, so what we need to do now just double click on that file to open it. Here we have the Arbitro uh, installer. Okay, there's no need for you to copy and paste uh, the indicators or the the expert advisor. Um, this installer will do it all for you. So, just going to double click on that. It's going to ask me if I want to allow the program to make changes to my computer. I want to click on yes. And here we go. Welcome to the Arbitro installation wizard. I click on next. Okay, so the wizard detected a MetaTrader program running. Uh, close the program and then click OK to continue. Let's just go and close on our platform. Okay, that's gone. Let's try it again. Okay, so it's brought me through. You can read through the uh, license agreement. Click on the accept, I accept the agreement to radio button. Click on next. Now, at this point, it's going to ask you uh, which platforms you want to install the Arbitro for. The Arbitro has been designed to only work with the Tradology FX uh, platform, um, so it's pretty pointless installing it on any other platform. So I'm going to deselect my other platforms, and I'm only going to leave Tradology FX uh, checked. Okay. Um, if you have a trading platform installed in a different location, you can add it manually by adding a MetaTrader folder. That is, if the the installer does not pick it up automatically. Okay, so I've got the uh, Tradology FX folder selected. I'm going to click on Next. This is just a review of the information or what's going to be installed. Click on Next. And you can see here the installation progress has completed and it is done. So click on Next. And it's going to ask me if I want to run the MetaTrader application after the install. Uh, I've got the Tradology FX selected and I've got the um, checkbox ticked. So I'm going to click on Finish and it's going to start up my platform for me. Okay, so here we are on the platform. Now in order to um, get the Arbitro set up on your platform, all you're going to do is add it onto a single chart and it doesn't matter what chart it is, it doesn't matter what time frame it is, uh, you can use any currency pair. So, uh, you know, it's up to you really. Um, I like to use it on the lower time frame, so I'm just going to close out some of these charts here. And I'm going to open a new one. Let's go Euro US dollar. And we'll set it to a 15 minute chart. Now, over here on my navigator, let's just get rid of the market watch. On my navigator, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to click on the expert advisors tab. Here you can see I've got our Bitro uh, EAV2 put out here. What I'm going to do is click on that, drag it onto my chart and this is what I get. Now these are the options okay uh, on the common tab in, ensure that you've got enable alerts selected ensure that you have live trading uh, selected on the safety uh, portion of this tab make sure that you have allow DLL imports selected and finally allow import of external experts selected. Let's go look at the, imp the inputs now the inputs that you um, add over here this will be uh, your username that you have when you signed up for the challenge. Alright, so I'm just going to enter in my username and I'm going to type in my password. Okay, those are the only options that you need to uh, set up here. Once that's done, click on OK. On the right here, you can see that the you have a smiley face. And over here, you can see that the authentication has been successful. I am logged in as 
uh, my username. Okay, so just to tell you a little bit about uh, the new version of Arbitro, um, the installer should enable the EA automatically. Okay, so all your settings are pretty much pre-configured. But just in case, I've shown you just now what needs to be checked, and those are the most important things. So uh, you should have no trouble setting it up. Um, you only need to place it on one chart, any chart, any time frame. Uh, if you uh, change the account or you have a wrong password, you're going to have to remove the EA and then reapply it. So the way you do that, click on, right-click on your chart, go to Expert Advisors, and then click on the Remove button. Then just go back to your navigator uh, over here, click and drag it back onto the chart, and then fill it in again. Okay. Um, open trades will be updated every five minutes. Uh, so the statistics and uh, closed orders are updated in real time. Um, that is, uh, when an order is closed, it is updated uh, on the leaderboard. So you'll be able to follow it that way. Um, if you blow your account and if you want to restart, uh, it's pretty simple to do this time. All you've really got to do, come out to your accounts on the navigation tab, open a new account, and all your information should be presented over here. Uh, no need to change any of the parameters, just click on I agree, click on next, and on the next screen you'll be asked to scan uh, the servers, scan the servers and you'll have a new account. And there's no need for you to replace the Arbitro, simply delete the old account from your navigator on the, uh, window here, and just remain with the one uh, single account, and Arbitro should pick that up uh, automatically. Um, okay, the only other thing that you really need to worry about is just ensuring that you have uh, an account balance of $1,000. Um, remember that the Arbitro only works with the Tradeology FX trading platform that you download from the members area. Okay, there are four basic uh, error codes. Um, you can have an error for either one of these um, events. Uh, firstly, a wrong initial balance. So if you have a balance greater than $1,000 or less than $1,000, um, when you start the account, uh, you're going to get an alert. Uh, the other error is for a wrong leverage size. So if you do not choose 1 is to 500, you're going to get another alert. Um, the last one is for, sorry, the the third one is for um, if you're using more than 0 0.5 lots in total for any of your open positions. As soon as that happens, you're going to be disqualified and you will get an alert uh, from Arbitro. And error 4 is if, that, if you're not using the Tradeology FX MT4 platform. And that's it. Um, what will happen is if you get any of these errors, uh, you will get an alert uh, sounding and you'll have to um, rectify those errors. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need to do in order to get started. So as soon as we do enable the uh, download links in the members area, I will send you an email and you'll then be able to go in there and download and install uh, the MetaTrader 4 platform and the Arbitro Expert Advisor. Once you have these, there's nothing else left to do except for wait for the markets to open on Sunday uh, or Monday, depending where you are in the world. And once that's done, you can start trading. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found this useful. Um, good luck to everybody in the competition and I'll chat with you again soon. Uh, for SureFireTradingChallenge.com, this is Wesley. Thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend.